Let's see. Well, hello. Let's see. I'm back out today at the James River. This is where I shot uh, my vlog from last week. So I decided to come back out and uh, try something just a little bit different. Okay, uh, maybe about a quarter of a mile from the bridge that I actually photographed last week. As you can see, there's a bridge right behind me. This is the Boulevard Bridge. This is actually a, uh, uh, a landmark uh, here in Virginia uh, along the James River. And I decided to come out, photograph this particular bridge. And I'm gonna use pretty much the same technique that I did last week. Okay, uh, I have the composition set up already. Uh, I'm shooting at uh, f-stop 16, and it's giving me an exposure of about a 20th of a second. Now, what I'm going to do is I have some rocks that are some rocks that are just in front of the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, two exposures. I'm going to take uh, one exposure for the rocks to make sure that they're good and sharp. And then the second exposure will be for the bridge. I'll be focused at infinity, uh, of course, at that point. Okay, so that will be two shots and I will blend those images together in Photoshop. Now the, th uh, the third image will be a long exposure. I'm going to use a 10-stop ND filter uh, to smooth out the water to give it a nice uh, silky smooth appearance. And all of those images will be uh, combined together in Photoshop and uh, hopefully I should have something pretty decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get ready to take this shot. Okay, see I have everything set up for the first shot. And as I said earlier, the, I'm getting an exposure right now of uh, 1 20th per second at f-stop uh, 16. Uh, the histogram looks, looks, looks good right now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first shot. So 1 20th of a second at f-stop 16. And I'm using mirror lockup as usual. Okay, now there's shot number one. Now that shot was actually for the, the rocks in the foreground. Okay, now my second exposure is going to be at infinity. So I'm going to focus for the bridge. About right there. Zoom in at 100%. And that looks good right there. Okay. And I will take this shot. And this is also still at uh, 1 20th of a second at f stop uh, 16. Mirror lockup. Okay, that's two shots. All right, now the final shot, I'm going to put on a 10 stop ND filter and uh, I'll go ahead and calculate my exposure and uh, we'll take that in a second. Okay, <clears throat> I have the next uh, shot set up and uh, it's going to be 64 seconds at f stop 16 ISO 64. So, I'm going to get ready to take that now. Mirror lockup. All right, and I'll be back as soon as this is finished. <laughs> Okay, that shot looks great. Okay, as usual, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take maybe one or two more shots from slightly different angles, just change up the composition somewhat and uh, see what I come up with. So uh, I'm going to do that right now and then I'll move on to the next composition. I spotted something uh, just off to the left and I think it might be a relatively good uh, minimalist image. I won't have the bridge or anything like that in the image itself. So I'm going to see how that works out. Uh, 
Uh, last week I took several black and white images and I was rather pleased with those. So I think uh, what I'm taking right now might be a very good candidate for a black and white image. So I'm going to see how things work out and uh, after taking a, couple, taking a couple more shots, we'll see exactly what I get. Okay, let's see, this next shot, I've moved further down. I'm probably about uh, maybe 20 feet away from the actual uh, side of the bridge. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take a shot and uh, I'm going to use the bridge actually as a leading line straight through. And I'm probably only going to take one shot with this. I don't have anything that's in the immediate foreground that needs to be in, in tack sharp focus. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that I did on the last uh, image with the exception of the foreground exposure. I'm going to take one shot, uh, in this case focused at infinity, and the next shot will be a long exposure with the 10 stop ND filter to smooth out the water as in the previous image. And of course those two images will be uh, uh, brought into Photoshop as layers and I'll bring out the, uh, the nice smooth texture of the water. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take that shot now. Okay, 1 20th of a second again at f-stop 16. Uh, the histogram looks great. All right, mirror lockup. Okay, there's one down. And now I will put on the 10 stop ND filter. I'm using the uh, screw-on ND filters rather than the uh, square filters. In this particular uh, shooting environment, I find these to be uh, a bit more convenient. Okay, and uh, once again, of course I have to go into bulb, mo bulb mode. to expose this for about uh, 64 seconds. I'm going to give it just a few seconds more exposure because the sun has come down just a little bit. Okay, so. Okay. So about 60, I'm going to give it probably about 70, 75 seconds. Okay, those two images look pretty good. Okay, now I'm on to my uh, next composition, which is to the left, and I'm going to get set up for that right now, and I will walk you through the steps of what I'm doing in a moment. All right, see you in a few. Let's see, I think I've come across my, probably my last uh, composition for the day. I really couldn't resist it. The light is really beginning to, uh, to get pretty good, and I couldn't resist getting another shot of the James River Bridge, uh, similar, to, well, it's going to be an entirely different composition, but uh, same subject that I shot last week. And uh, boy, the sun is getting pretty close to the horizon, and we're beginning to get some really good light. So I'm going to shoot this one pretty much, uh, well, a little bit differently. Uh, there's quite a bit of dynamic range here. Uh, even more so than in the previous uh, image that I took. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to take one shot uh, for the, for the uh, highlights, obviously where the bridge is in the background, and then I will take one long exposure with a 10 stop ND filter uh, as I did with the, uh, the previous two images. And 
I will probably take a couple long exposures uh, just to make sure I have what I need exposure wise and uh, to make sure that I, you know, I don't regret having not taken it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sit up and take this shot now. The first shot will be for the sky. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the 10-stop ND filter. All right, this, uh, okay, this first image is for the highlights in the water, and it's 128 seconds. And, the next, and then I will do, it, do my calculations later for the exposure for the, for the shadow areas. And if everything goes well, those images will be exposure blended in Photoshop later. Okay, let's see, for insurance, uh, I've taken one more shot at 128 seconds. So uh, two minutes and eight, eight second exposure to smooth out the water. And I think that's probably going to be it for today. Uh, I've taken multiple shots on this last image uh, for the highlights and, uh, and the shadow areas. And hopefully, I'm pretty sure now I have all of the exposures that I need to get an acceptable image. And I think most of these images are destined to be black and white images. That's pretty much, that's pretty much what my mindset was when I came out today. Uh, as I said earlier, I was very impressed with the black and white images that I took uh, last week. Uh, I hadn't intended to make them black and white images, but as it turned out, I really liked what I came up with. So, I think that's probably going to be it for today. So, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and please subscribe. Okay? Until next time.